Welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations 2, Gyakuten Kenji 2. Well, it's been a long time, so I've forgotten the whole story again. Um, where did we leave off last time? We're still in this incredibly long chapter 3. I think we were looking back in the past. And dealing with that lawyer, what's his name? We So we were Miles Edgeworth's father in the past. All right, let's just start the chapter. It might become clearer. And now we're back in the present. Yes, we are. Zodiac Art Gallery. Oh yeah, they found a body, didn't they? And that's all Uncle Ray knows about the IS-7 incident. So that's what happened in my father's last case. The truth of the IS-7 incident. What was the truth? I don't even remember. <laughs> what happened at the trial? In the end, Von Karma defeated us. Of course he did. He was undefeatable until... He was undefeated until Phoenix came along. We had gathered plenty of evidence to prove it. But Von Karma was even more despicable than we thought. I'll never forget that fateful day when the judgment was passed down, the 28th of December. It's April now, so it's been a little over 17 years. How time flies. Oh man, he was in the gallery. Before the trial, your old man noticed that Mr. Master was acting strangely. He was at the breaking point, both mentally and physically. He wanted to be found guilty. No, Mr. Master didn't fake a confession, did he? Yeah, that was what Von Karma was aiming for from the start. How? When your old man tried to expose the fact that the body had not been found, Von Karma used the power of his police cronies to quash that argument. He even went as far as to pre prepare a fake autopsy report. Not the bloody autopsy report. We always lose the autopsy report. Then they made Mr. Master give a false testimony and confess to being an accomplice. Oh my god. Being forced to give false confessions. This is like going on trial in Dubai. With Mr. Master's confession, the situation quickly became dire. But your old man had a trump card up his sleeve. Oh, really? Was that the trump card he was talking to Detective Bad about? Yeah, that trump card was to be our insurance, in case Mr. Master confessed. He had asked Detective Bad to have Mr. Master's interrogation recorded. I don't think this would help, though. He'll just... Masters will just claim he was lying back then. And he's now telling the truth or something like that. After he was dropped from the investigation, he never stopped caring about the case. Even when he was involved with other large cases. He really was the definition of a true detective. The defense presented the recording, which proved that the confession was forced. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, what oh, what confession are they talking about? The one which Von Karma made? Uh, the, the interro- Hang on. I don't understand what recording this is. Rip Laser took all of the blame and was charged and dismissed. Still, at the trial, your old man exposed Von Karma's corruption and... Von Karma received his first penalty from the then chief prosecutor. That's all you get? A penalty? This is a felony. <laughs> the 
it's so lax. Well, Japan is famous for its lax legal system. Kidding, it's not. Um, however, Mr. Master didn't want to, the trial to continue any longer. And the curtains closed on the trial that day with the verdict of guilty. Why? But even after we expose the fake confession, he still gets a guilty? Well, it's a bloody kangaroo cult. Your old man wanted the retrial to prove Master's innocence. But he passed on before he could fulfill his wish. Oh. After getting entangled in another case, well, can we demand a retrial? But normally you can only open retrial if there's compelling change to the evidence or something. After 17 years, it's, oh, could we really find a piece of evidence? I forgot all about that. Miles's father was killed in the lift. I forgot that whole story. Wow. Uncle Ray put all of his hatred on you. As a traitor for being Von Karma's pupil. I'm sorry. Well, why did Mars become Von Karma's pupil after all that? Don't be. It's natural you would hate me. After I became a prosecutor, I was able to get Von Karma to show me the case file. Mr. Master was found guilty for the murder of Isaac Dover. Eh? That's not right. Wasn't Mr. Master found guilty of being an accomplice? But this case file says guilty of murder. There shouldn't be anything unresolved in the cases handled by Manfred von Karma. Wait, can I take a look at that file? It looks like the charges have been rewritten. Look at this. The charge is accomplice to murder? Creator of the dessert contest. The victim's body was found inside a dessert made by the suspect. This led to his arrest. In jail, he was diagnosed with hypogeusia and he was treated by medicine. After his own confession, he was c convicted as an accomplice to the murder. This is a copy of the original case file I received from the courts. Why would the charge be altered? This file was given to you by Von Karma, right? Maybe he just didn't want you to know the truth, since you're Gregory's son. He would have wanted to avoid another retrial before the statute of limitations ran out after all. When does it run out? Statute of Limitations has long expired, but the truth still sleeps right here. After your old man passed away, Uncle Ray took over as Mr. Master's defense attorney. Although Von Karma also had another prosecutor take over the case, perhaps he thought that since his opponent was a rookie, he didn't even need to turn up. In the end, the real killer was never found, and Mr. Master was found guilty. Is there nothing we can do, even now? Since the killer was never found, he can't withdraw his confession. I found out after the trial that 
Mr. Master made a deal with Von Karma because Von Karma had threatened him. If you don't confess, Catherine Hall will be held under the same charges. Oh, for goodness sake. That's terrible. I don't think Mr. Master really thought that Kate was the killer, but to protect her, he faked a confession. Ugh. On the day that Knightley Boy was killed, why do you think Uncle Ray was at the prison? Oh, I see. You went to see Mr. Master, didn't you? I said I'd visit him every day. I couldn't keep that promise, but... Wait, you'd visit him every day for 17 years? Every single day without fail. For 17 years, bloody hell. That's why I came here. Because I knew those ice sculptures would be on display here today. So, what are you going to do, Miles? I am a prosecutor. My position is different from you and my father. Miles. But moving past my position, what I want as Miles Edgeworth is to know the truth of these two cases. It is for that reason that I am here. You really are your father's son. Well then, if that's what you decided, I'll support you all the way. I'd better leave the IS-7 documents and evidence with you then. Alright, here are the documents. By the way, the parts in orange are Uncle Ray's old notes. Okay. Oh god, all these evidence things. Thank you. And now, here's the IS-7 evidence. There's a lot, so make sure to look it over while you investigate. Oh god. Gotta read it all. Later. Anyway, there are so many strange things about this case. Indeed. Those involved in the case 18 years ago have reunited, and another incident occurs. Poison gas was released in the Autumn Palace, which had been disguised as the Winter Palace. Two chemicals in the PC's case. Normalium and Fatalium were mixed, causing an outbreak of poison gas. The victim of the poison gas was Dane Gustavia, a person involved in the IS-7 incident. Because he was unconscious, he received treatment in the Zodiac Art Gallery's infirmary. Finally, the dead body found floating in the fountain. Wait, who was that? And once again, the ice sculptures have melted. So many random things. Objection. Oh no. Just one second. Don't tell me you've forgotten about me. I was... I was, uh, yes, I was in bliss having forgotten you ever existed. Didn't I tell you that I'm the one in charge of this case? Prosecutor Edgeworth, if you intend to continue disrupting Sebastian's investigation, the word guilty would be added to your PIC report. Who's on trial now? Please allow me to assist in your investigation as before. I appreciate your proposal, but I'm afraid I must overrule it. That was fast. Even though we're short on hands to identify the victim right now, it's only a matter of time until we figure it out. In that case, I shall take that load off your shoulders at once. Regarding the identity of the unidentified body, one person comes to mind. Really? Then tell us. Hmm, very well. Oh god, I don't remember anything. Well, it's probably gonna be... Um, no, 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 no. 
Catherine Hall. She's the only woman who fits the body shape. Okay, go on then. No. Can we at least see a picture of it? Show me the body. I want to see it. Isaac Dover? <gasps> oh my god, it's Isaac Dover, isn't it? Is it because he was in ice? And it melted? Ho ho ho. Ooh, this is interesting. It's likely that the identity of the body is the victim of the murder that occur occurred here 18 years ago. Isaac Dover. Hey, who that? I've never heard of him. And he was the victim in the IS-7 incident. I mean, she probably would. Did they now? I mean, a simple check of the body can confirm it's actually Isaac Dover. Why are we even arguing about this? Just check the body. We have it. It's right here. Hello? Eh? Really? Is something wrong, Sebastian? No, it's just... They said they know who the victim is. It's just as that prosecutor says. It's Dover. No, it can't be. I mean, of course the body was lost. How could the prosecutor claim it wasn't lost? Like, they wouldn't be able to show the body to prove that it wasn't lost. So, what? how, how was there any debate as to whether the body was lost or not? Like, either you have the body and are able to show it, or it's lost. <laughs> Which is what it means to be lost. I don't think that's true, Courtney Pie. You again? <laughs> Uncle Ray assisted the defense attorney involved in the IS-7 incident. The one who claimed that Mr. Dover's body was never found. The prosecution denied it at the time, but now the body has been discovered here. In other words, the IS-7 investigation was unjust. And isn't it the duty of the PIC to investigate corrupt prosecutors? Then, wouldn't you want to cooperate with those who were involved in the case? Unless you have an ulterior motive. Even if you're related to the incident, I don't see how Prosecutor Edgeworth is. Well, I'm, I'm his son. <laughs> We didn't need your permission anyway. Uh, what is this? Go back to the courtroom, you're a judge. What are you doing here?
That's my Courtney Pie. Now we're talking. As thanks, I will allow you to have a hug with Uncle Ray. What the? Ray, why do you have to be so creepy sometimes? <laughs> I was just beginning to like you and then... <laughs> Rain's going to investigate too, so let me know if you figure something out. Got it. Right then. Okay, let's begin the investigation. Okay, let's do this. We still don't know where Mr. Dover's body and the Normalium were hidden. We don't have enough information to go on. You're right. Our first priority is the Normalium. Well, normalium is used in washing detergents, paints, and the like. If I recall, it's a red liquid with a minty aroma. Well then, let's get looking for that normalium. Okay. Can we... How do I save? There's a way to save, isn't there? I don't remember how to save. Alright, doesn't matter for now. Yeah, I don't want to be doing that yet. The math test. <laughs> what? How's the investigation coming on? Have you found anything? Hoi! Not quite, actually. We haven't found any clues yet. You're doing it wrong. Hoi is only used when you're showing someone something. Okay. Also, yes, see is used to confirm and is also greeting. Eep is used when you're afraid. Fee is used when you don't like something. Oi is used when you're calling someone. Oi, oi, Mr. Edgeworth. Did you catch all of that? Okay, be more serious. Yes, see. <laughs> I don't want to talk to these guys. It's over here. Stinks. When something smells, it's usually the butts. <laughs> Such a stupid phrase.
Yeah, well. Hey, Edgy! What is it? Be careful with that teapot! Madame and Monsieur. I do care for some tea. Miss Hall. Ah, oh, Katie! No, I'm fine, thanks. Kay and Edgy, you guys can have some. Well, since you asked, we might as well take a short break. Certainly. Thanks for the tea. Da, 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 da. Yes, that's right. Was it not to your liking? No, it's not that. The tea we had this morning had a slightly different aroma. I'm sorry? What? Is there something to do with the Normalium? his teeth. So I think there's some logic we can put together here. It's quite a nice design for a teapot and teacups. So first, let's have a look at this.
<laughs> okay, enough. Um, I reckon we've got some logic here. It's just the only two things we have. Minty aroma. I mean, was it specifically minty? Damn it, come on. Well, that's the only two I have, so... Well, I'm fine. What else? I was showing the remaining guests out and handing out complimentary gifts as an apology. Did you require my services? Yes, there are a few things I want to ask you about. Did you set up the poison gas trap? How exactly did you prepare the melted sculptures from 18 years ago? Nice, so you know about what happened 18 years ago. It's because 18 years ago I photographed Monsieur Dover's sculptures. Using the photos as a base, I managed to create replicas. Dun, 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 dun. Because I am the one who accidentally melted Monsieur Dover's sculptures. Could you tell me why the Autumn Palace resembles the Winter Palace so much? Well, my apologies. Did they really look so alike? I think I may have gotten some of the decorations mixed up. Rock salt lamp. Three years ago, the Statue of Limitations ran out. Because the victim's body vanished, there appears to be no autopsy report. Is that the true reason? Okay. What is all this stuff? Let's just have a look. Saw the blood, which turned out to be the, the red normalium. Dude, didn't I say that I'm not talking to you anymore? Hmm. 
No, not the chess game. Looks like we've got to find some more evidence. He remembers? Oh, it's in the photo. Must have broken a teapot or something. Oh, that man is Larry. Larry broke something. Larry. Something smells. Oh my god, is this a. It literally smells. It's a play on the classic phrase.
Oh my god, shut up, Larry, just answer the question. Do it then. The butt strikes again. Is that so? My teapot was... Katie, I'm so sorry. I don't have any money, but I'll draw as many portraits of you as you like. Please, kindly raise your head, Monsieur. It is I who should apologize. I didn't notice the broken shards. It's dangerous, so I'll tidy up the broken pieces. Allow me to take this piece from you as well. Wasn't this tea set one of Isaac Dover's works? I heard that it was very important to you. Yes. But there's no use crying over spilled tea. Besides, I still have another of those teapots left. Yeah, that's a weird reaction. Everything's cool now. I took great care to make sure no one would break that pot. You... Don't brag about that when you were the one who broke it in the first place. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I don't mind. Thank you for your consideration. Hey gee, Katie is a real nice lady, isn't she? You should reflect on how you cause trouble for people like her. Okay, when I make it as big as an artist, I'll donate paintings. In fact, I'll even welcome you as my own personal model. So what is going on here? What is what is Delicia doing? Ouch! The other plump lady. She's not even that plump. She's just small.
Let me have a look at this then. What is what is Delisha doing? Is that blue? One of those cloth things that are you uh, that get lit up? So she's pushing the cart. Courtney's just standing around, being Courtney. What's on the table? Sweets. Mm -hmm. What is up with Delicia? Okay, it's strange. Strange that he would just stand there drawing Delicia doing that. <laughs> the ice. Well, this pots was switched. That's why it smells different. Miss Hall, was the reason why the Ceylon tea smelled different because the pots were switched? Yes, that's certainly possible. It had a fresh minty aroma, not unlike that of uva tea. Gah, I remember now. I prepared some mint tea yesterday. I'm sure that the aroma just happened to remain in the teapot. What? Is that really all there is to it? She's been playing with Normalian. The minty aroma was emanating from the pot Larry had replaced. the entire art museum search, but I haven't received any reports yet. And what about you? Don't you have any ideas? I knew it. Nobody but me would be able to find it. Wait, what? You have an idea where it is? Indeed. Then tell me. It may have been in this teapot that Miss Hall had used. Oh, this teapot is pretty nice. It would make the perfect present for the breath prosecutor. It's not a present, it's an important piece of evidence. Oh, it's just evidence. Then I guess I'll have fine take a look at it. Uh, Monsieur Ejoueur, is there something wrong with this teapot I used? This teapot has a minty aroma to it. It's the same aroma as one of the two chemicals used to create the poison gas. Monsieur Edgeworth, surely you don't mean... You suspect me of having set off the poison gas? I do, actually, yeah. I do. Setting up the poison gas trap in the Autumn Palace would have required some preparation. As the curator of this museum, you're the only one who could have prepared it in advance. I wonder about that. Preparations for the opening of the museum took about a week. And I received help from both outsiders and Madame Delicia. I think there are people besides me who are also suspicious. She might be right. So 
just sounds kind of innocent, to be honest. Well then, I look forward to hearing the analysis results of the teapot. Oi! I was the investigation coming along. Have you found anything? Do whatever you want, he says, or pointing in the opposite direction. Go ahead, she doesn't work for the PIC. She doesn't work for you, well, what you, what's reporting I'm going to do? Mm, well, it was in case of ice, but to, even, even in ice it would probably still deteriorate unless it was really a lot colder than zero. I don't know. Mrs. Ashworth, may it come to sir? Did something happen? Actually, right now all the investigators but me have left the Winter Palace, so I could finally tell you what we found. Leaking, you. All well, the sculptures in the Winter Palace have melted. There's still some liquid left in the cases, but there's less in the Gemini case than in the Taurus case. There's still liquid in the glass cases? Yes, sir. We just investigated the light blue liquid a moment ago. We only detected sugar in the Taurus case, but for some reason, in the Gemini case, we detected three different substances. Three substances? It consists of sugar, salt, and blood. Now that you mention it, we found a rainbow light device in there too. The device was used to disguise the Autumn Palace. Delicia, would you be willing to aid in the investigation? Yes, see, of course. Anything for Miley and Kay Faye. I'll listen to whatever you have to say. I was wondering if you could stop calling me Miley. Stop calling me Kay Faye. 
Really? That's out of the question. I can't just change a name I've already decided on. Specifically the fluorescent cloths and a special device called a rainbow light device. Yes, see, of course I do. Because they are presents that I gave to Katie. As an apology for breaking their rules 18 years ago. 18 years? <laughs> it's true. Look, I've got the proof right here in my bag. I'd like to ask you something, since you're a pharmacist. Exactly how would one gain the knowledge required to set off poison gas? I mean, you just mix the two liquids together, don't you? Why would the angel's recipe have a have a recipe for deadly poison? What? Why would that be in the recipe book? Oh my God. in a nutshell. They find a cure for the cold and they they just hold on to it. Please tell me the reason why you hid this cloth. Oh, I guess I have no choice since the cat's out of the bag. I found this cloth floating in the fountain. And right after that, I was called to the Autumn Palace. So she's withholding evidence. First, I thought one of the fluorescent cloths I'd given Katie had washed away. But didn't you only give four fluorescent cloths as a present to this museum? There were four fluorescent cloths covering the sculptures in the Autumn Palace, right? So that's when I realized. 
that this was the cloth that went missing 18 years ago. The poison gas broke out because someone had stolen my Megatoxin X. So I thought the fluorescent cloth had also been used for the crime. I was afraid I'd be suspected, so I didn't say anything about it to anyone. But I sure feel a lot better after talking about it. Stress isn't good for your figure, after all. So I think the body and the cloth all were encased in ice somewhere. So strange. My, is this me? Yes, it's a sketch done by our pseudo artist over there. The sketch is really well done. Are you giving it to me as a commemoration gift? No, it's evidence. Yeah, I see. Too bad. What kind of methods for medicine preparation are described in the Angel's Recipe? It contains many ways of preparation, so I can't explain them all in such a short time. Although, if you really want to know, I can tell you. It will take about two hours, though. Go ahead. Oh? Yes. Okay, but she admits to... And we know that one of the recipes are is um, the poison, so... So, can we not put that together with... What else are we trying to do? case seems to have a lot in common with the case 18 years ago. I agree, the melted ice, the winter palace, and the body of the victim from 18 years ago... I wonder why nobody ever noticed the body was missing after all this time. The only family Mr. Dover had was a young son. His son, and Mr. Gustavia's son, who attended the same elementary school. After the case, they both went missing. Wait, the sons went missing? That's kind of serious. Okay, this one son was found.
Okay, I think that's connected. That means she knows how to make the poison. The method used to set off the poison gas is explained in the Angel's Recipe, and the current owner of the Angel's Recipe is Miss Hall. Ah, oh, so that means... Indeed, it means that it is possible she knew how to set off the poison gas. With this, we can expose her lies for what they are. Okay. What, what do we do about that? Present this again. So what do we do about that, that piece of knowledge then? Should we bring up that conversation again? This has it has a tick on it, so No can do. I can't just change names I've already decided on. of logic. Now what? Talk to the best thing? Talk to Courtney? I don't know. Talk to Kay? So are we checking the teapot? Mr. Shields are delicious. We've done that. Yeah. No, use it. Okay, never mind. Maybe talk to shields again.
Okay, what are we doing? Salt, sugar, and blood. Should we talk to Delicia about the salt, sugar, and blood? Maybe we can get Pharmacist's opinion. say. See anything else we can talk to her about? I don't know what we do at this point. So we think she knew something. We ask her again about the poison gas trap, even though it's got a tick on it. Maybe because we have new information, I don't know. Wait, let me read that again.
Got the decorations mixed up. Should I show her something? <laughs> um So we need evidence that something to do with decorations that's just mixed up. Interesting. There's a fir tree in the wrong place. And there's a maple tree in the wrong place. But what do we do with that? opinion on anything. Come on, you brought the poly up, Ray. we got to do. Also, how do I save the game? I think there's a button I'm supposed to be pressing. Let me have a look. Control 1. G and... Okay, start. F. Oh, I need to remap the controls. Maybe I'll stop there then. Um, yeah, stop there. Carry on next time. I thought I could round off that part of the stream, but I've got these go on for ages. All right. See you next time. <laughs>